Hey everybody, this is Raymond with your weekly update and really just a few things for you this week. First, I want to ask you to pray, if you would, for Ryan Burns and his wife Jen and Robert Green and his wife Erin as both of them are expecting new additions to their family this week. So please pray that everything would go well there and take a moment to pray for the other 18 moms here at Redemption Hill who are also expecting new additions to their families within the next year. Uh, the second thing I want to call to your attention is our Meet Redemption Hill gathering immediately following our service on Sunday. For those of you who have been attending perhaps on Sunday mornings for a while or, or maybe you've just been connected to the church through the communities or some other way, this is your chance to meet the pastors and staff and to ask whatever questions that you may have. And so that will be immediately following our service this Sunday uh, in the cafeteria at Holton. And then finally, a, a great opportunity has come up for us. This is the third year in a row that VCU has been selected for the Iraqi Young Leaders Exchange Program. And so the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad sends 18 to 24-year-olds and 25 of them who are studying in the universities in Iraq, uh, slated for leadership in that country. And they come here for an intense summer program where they're exposed to American culture and they learn things and study social media, community engagement, leadership, conflict resolution, and things of that sort. And so it's a great opportunity to make a lasting impression on some, some young future Iraqi leaders, uh, to expose them even to the gospel and to, to what an American Christian family is like. They come with preconceived notions of that, and it would be a great thing if, if one or two families were perhaps able to connect with some of these students. More than likely, they've already found host families for these students, but Matt Bristol is looking into it. And depending upon what he discovers, we may have an opportunity for one or two more families to join in. Uh, so please keep that in mind. And whatever you would normally be doing for a 4th of July celebration, see if it's possible maybe to include one or two of these young Iraqi leaders. All right, well, that's all for now. We look forward to seeing you again on Sunday morning. Until then, please go out and enjoy your families, enjoy your friends. Go out and meet your neighbors and connect with them, and we'll see you again on Sunday morning.